In today's technology report, let's meet a 19-year-old self-taught Zambian drone pilot who uses crop materials to build drones and capture stunning aerial footage of his community. For more, tech reporter Paul Diho spoke to Lawrence Tuambo from the Zambian capital, Lusaka. Hello, Paul. Hello, Esther. Thank you. Uh, despite a skepticism from his friends, Lens's passion and creativity fueled his desire to use homemade drones for greater good. He aims to build and innovate, and he's hoping to fly commercial, to get a commercial license one day. Uh, for more, I spoke to Lawrence Trumbo from uh, the Luz Zambiana capital, Lusaka. Welcome to Africa 54. Thanks. Uh, I'm glad to join you here. Briefly tell us a little bit about yourself. You look so young. What are you working on? I do electronics and code programming and projects are built from local materials. Yeah, so I started this art of making uh, electronic components uh, from the time when I was 10 years old. Yeah, so what inspired me to do this is that uh, when I was young, I, I loved to repair electronic stuff and that motivated me to start building my own. Where do you get these uh, materials from that uh, you use to uh, build uh, different uh, products? With electronics, normally I get from local dead electronic appliances. But if I need more ones which are more complex, uh, which can't be found here in our country, I normally order from China. And for the other stuffs, like for the shows, I normally use uh, local materials like cardboard, wood, um, wires, and other rubber stuffs. Who inspired you or what inspired you to start uh, building uh, uh, locally made uh, planes from uh, uh, locally sourced uh, products? There are a lot of people who inspired me, others are just from local, the pilots here in our local country and also in the drone tech industry. One of the guys who inspires me is Unichasan. He's the one who uh, taught me to do more in those things uh, since I had an inspiration over drones. So I met him and he tried to teach me one or two things about them. From the time when I was young, I've always dreamed to be uh, a pilot. Yeah, so for, for that case, uh, I thought of start, uh, starting from small small to big. And how many of those uh, locally made planes have you made? So far, there are more than five. And they can fly? Yes, yes, they can fly high. You said one of your dreams is to become a pilot. And uh, by you making your, your own planes, uh, you are closer to uh, becoming a uh, a pilot. Do you have plans maybe to go to like a pilot uh, piloting school? Do you have plans maybe to study uh, aer aeronautics? Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, actually, my plan is to uh, first do uh, aeronautical engineering to design uh, planes and to do more with uh, planes in piloting industry. You are 19 years old. Where do you get the money to buy some of these materials that you used uh, to uh, make these uh, planes that fly? Here in my country, I'm a drone operator. I offer drone services. So through those uh, drone services, when I offer services to people, they pay me. I try to venture myself, uh, like my, the money, into building my own self-built uh, drones. Being that uh, in drone industry and services. Uh, we use these drones which are made from other countries. So it inspires me to do more than that, whereby I would build my own uh, local made drones and start using them for drone services like photography, uh, surveillance, and mapping, and also uh, wildlife tracking and many more drone services and operations. When I was a, a bit younger like you, my dream was to one day also to fly planes. My father used to buy me like toy planes. I was the kid who always had uh, these planes flying all over. So my dream was one day to uh, maybe to aspire to become a pilot. But unfortunately, it never materialized. That's why I'm talking to a smarter guy like you. Yes, exactly. Are you a certified drone pilot? I'm a certified drone pilot. I, I acquired my uh, certified skills from Allison and online school from United States. That's where I acquired my uh, drone uh, certification and operations. So you are based in Zambia, but you did an online class uh, in the United States, and you are a certified drone pilot as we speak. 
Yes, yes, actually, yes. You could actually make a career being a drone pilot, or you could make a career being an actual pilot who fly these jumbo jets, uh, the, the Boeings. Where do you see yourself in maybe the next uh, 20, uh, 30 years? I feel myself uh, doing more and going higher in far in this industry. Uh, if um, given chance and opportunity and other support to endeavor more in this thing, I see myself going far and doing more better and contributing more in the aviation industry. Thank you so much for your time, Lawrence. All right, thank you, sir. This is my kind of guy. That was Lawrence Trumbo, a self-taught drone pilot from Lusaka. That's today's uh, tech report. Back to you, 